Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the captive portal features on the Peplink Balance 1 using InControl 2, Peplink's cloud-based management software. What I have for you in the background here is our Peplink Balance 1 web user interface. We're looking at the dashboard screen, and you can see we have an internet connection established. There's no other requirements in order to set up your balance, since we'll do the rest of our configuration through InControl 2. To set up the captive portal, you'll log into InControl, and you'll need to create a group and add your device to a new group. We'll go ahead and go to our organization and create a group. For our purposes, we'll call this 3G Store, and usually you would give your group a location and an address. Once that is ready, you'll go ahead and create your group. The next step is to enter the serial number for your device into the group so it can be added to in control. With the device added, you can now give it a custom name and add device. Now that our group has been created and our balance is showing online, we're going to go into our group settings for the wireless network. We'll enable Wi-Fi management and save those changes. This lets InControl take over the balance's Wi-Fi settings. We're going to create two separate SSIDs here. The first one will be a employee group and the second will be our captive portal guest group. Add new SSID. We'll call this 3G Store Main. We'll set a password and then save those changes. Next, we'll set up our guest SSID. We'll call this 3G Store Guest. We'll leave the encryption to open because we'll have our users authenticate via their email address. We'll scroll down through the bottom of our settings and we'll enable the captive portal feature. With Captive Portal enabled, we now have a number of different ways we can configure our access point. Social lets us log in through things like Facebook and LinkedIn. Open Access means that anybody can connect to the network without any type of authentication. Guest Account lets you create or upload a CSV file with different usernames and passwords. For our purposes, we're going to use email as our authentication method. We'll go ahead and enable this. We'll have our email collect our guest name, but we don't need their country. We'll give them five minutes to log into their email and accept the email that we send. And for our sender name, we'll just call this admin. Now we also want to impose a restriction on our guest Wi-Fi users, so we're going to change our quota to a bandwidth-based allowance. And we'll give everybody 50 megabytes. Our quota then will reset at one o'clock in the morning. So now, when a guest authenticates to the network, they can verify their email, connect, and they'll have 50 megabytes of usage per day. We'll go ahead and save those changes. And now in control has our 3G Store main and our 3G Store guest networks creative. You can see that we have our captive portal enabled on our second network. Once in control has been updated, we can now go back to the balance and we'll see our changes have already been applied. Now you see our Wi-Fi AP has our 3G Store main with the padlock, meaning it is secured, and our 3G Store guest, which is unsecured, but using our email authentication with the captive portal. So now we are on an Android phone and we're going to open up our wireless search and connect to our new 3G Store guest network that we created through in control 2. We'll go ahead and select that network, and you can see it shows no security, and we'll connect. Depending on the device, you may get a prompt that says extra actions are required, or you may just need to open up a web browser to get to the captive portal page. Opening up our browser on the phone, you can see we're immediately redirected to our welcome screen. Now, we didn't change any of the default settings. We left the Peplink logo in background, but you can fully customize the images, text, and terms and conditions page through in control 2. Our next step here is to enter our email address that is prompted on the page. We'll go ahead and submit this after agreeing to the terms and conditions. The captive portal will now send us an email and we'll get a verification on the screen that tells us to check our box. We'll go ahead now and open up our email and take a look at what that says. 
So we have an email coming from admin, which we specified in our in control 2 setup, and there is a link to verify our address. We'll go ahead and click that and then look at our captive portal page. Now that we have verified our email, we have internet connectivity. You can see we have 50 megabytes of service, and if we had done this time-based, it would tell us we have X amount of hours remaining. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and for more information, visit 3gstore.com. Thank you.